Hello, this is Charles Figley uh, from Tulane University Traumatology Institute. This is the fifth week uh, for video logs focusing on help for the helper. Uh, if you go to uh, the uh, website Tulane Traumatology Institute dot com, uh, you'll be able to find this location for these video uh, video logs as well as the um, the specific uh, resources that we've pulled together for helpers. We've decided that this would be a better way to do it rather than focusing on individual traumatic events because we get quite a bit of uh, interest in seeking our help and uh, I think that we've decided that this would be a way of organizing the material for anyone who's experienced a traumatic event directly but especially indirectly, as uh, helping, uh, helpers uh, are in most cases. I know most uh, of the time I have something in the, behind me and I'm lecturing and, and uh, giving you advice and all that sort of thing. Um, I would like you to consider joining uh, Twitter and uh, following me because I've really been trying to point out the useful resources, perspective, theoretical orientation, research findings, uh, relevant to helpers, whether they're helpers of uh, clients or helpers of family members and friends. Um, I, there has been quite a bit now that has talked about that. We've been mostly interested in trauma, uh, but there is quite a bit uh, with regard to uh, helping people who are helping other people. Um, I want to talk just briefly though about the uh, current uh, situation. Uh, given the the frequency with which we are finding that men are identified as perpetrators, uh, whether that be on children or uh, women or men, actually, who do not want that or are not old enough to understand. Uh, and anyway, uh, the what I have discovered in talking with lots of colleagues uh, is the the unintended negative consequences of uh, talking about these issues because it uh, brings back memories that uh, some people, and I'm thinking specifically of women, who found themselves in some very similar situations as uh, these uh, men mostly have been identified. Um, there's a cost, there's a price to pay uh, in society because um, let's say, women don't uh, want to be reminded of some traumatic events, and these kinds of events have uh, forced them to do so. So I think it's important for us to be aware, mindful, uh, caring <laughs> about uh, the current uh, situation. And if you are um, talking with a colleague, don't press them. <laughs> Don't push them. If they want to talk about something else, let them talk about something else. Collectively, we all want uh, for our country and our culture to turn the page and for women to be treated with the respect that they deserve and vice versa, but uh, it's especially been a problem in terms of sexual harassment. I've seen this throughout my career. Things have gotten way better, and I think that's why we have now a climate in which we can talk uh, quite uh, frankly and directly. But again, uh, we need to be aware of some people not wanting to talk about it. So hopefully this is useful and um, we're trying to keep it brief. Thank you for your feedback, thank you for your support, and um, you know, send us questions or observations.